Hanging above the cliffs of China's Guizhou geocentric valley are 26 unique cliff house lodges with their backs to the wall and bottomless canyons in front of their doors. However, deep in the mountains, there is an even more breathtaking worldly wonder hidden. A dozen or so families actually live on top of the cliffs where even birds can't fly up. The area is surrounded by steep cliffs, and except for a few trees, there is hardly a decent piece of land to be seen. It is difficult to imagine what the villagers here actually make a living. It is understood that this cliff village has a history of hundreds of years. According to legend, in the Ming Dynasty, a group of villagers fleeing to escape the war, had to climb this wall, establish their homes here. For hundreds of years, the villagers have thus flourished on the cliffs, isolated from the world, becoming a true paradise. However, living on the cliffs was no easy task. The villagers rely on a hand-built wooden and rattan ladder to get around. Exposed to the elements for years, these ladders have become very fragile, and every climb can be life-threatening. Villagers often have to carry heavy supplies on their backs and climb the ladders carefully on their hands and knees. Once they miss, they may fall into an abyss of 10,000 feet. Climbing these ladders has become a daily routine for the villagers. Early in the morning, when the first ray of sunlight shines into the canyon, the villagers begin their day's labor. They pick up their tools and slowly climb up the narrow rattan ladders. Each step is taken with caution, fearing that they might fall if they are not careful. The rattan ladder swayed in the wind, making a crunching sound, which was frightening. Climbing halfway up the mountain, the villagers have to carefully transfer from one rattan ladder to another, each transfer is a test of courage and skill. What is even more amazing is that the villagers have to rely on these ladders to transport all kinds of living materials. They loaded firewood, food, clothing and other items into bamboo baskets or sacks, then carried them on their shoulders and climbed up the ladders step by step. These items were often so heavy that the villagers had to use all their strength to transport them to the top of the mountain. In the process of transportation, bamboo baskets and sacks are often protruding branches or rocks on the ladder hook broken, the contents of the items will be scattered all over the place, the villagers will have to risk their lives to retrieve them one by one. Sometimes the villagers have to transport even more bulky items, such as furniture and construction materials. These items could not be carried on their shoulders, so the villagers had to work together, tie them up with ropes, and then carefully drag them up the ladder. This process is very slow and dangerous, and if they are not careful, they may break the ladder or drop the items into the abyss. In the cliff villages deep in the mountains of Guizhou, villagers have lived on this precipitous wall for generations, creating a unique way of life and cultural traditions. Among these traditions, the most distinctive are their rural weddings and animal husbandry. Weddings in the cliff villages are a unique ceremony that blends the local natural environment and ethnic culture. 
The wedding is usually held on the most spacious stone floor in the village, where the bride and groom, dressed in local ethnic costumes and with the blessing of friends and relatives, cross a threshold symbolizing an obstacle, and finally come to the edge of the cliff to swear their love to heaven and earth. During this process, the villagers will play unique local musical instruments and sing ancient songs, and the whole village will be immersed in a festive atmosphere. In Cliff Village, almost every family keeps some goats or pigs. These animals not only provide for the villagers' livelihood, but also become an indispensable part of their lives. The villagers will give their goats some intimate names and treat them as a member of their family. On some important days, villagers will also use lambs or sheep milk products to honor the gods and pray for peace and a good harvest.
both men and women face hardships and challenges that are often unimaginable. For the men of Cliff Village, their main tasks are farming and herding. Due to the extremely difficult geography of the Cliff Village, there is very little arable land, most of which is located in the crevices and caves of the cliffs. The men have to bring their rudimentary farming tools along the dangerous mountain paths and rattan ladders to cultivate these lands. During the harvest season, the men would have to brave the dangers and carry the grain back to their homes, bag by bag. They have to carry heavy sacks of grain on their backs and climb hundreds of meters along narrow mountain paths and rattan ladders. This process is very dangerous, and if they are not careful, they may lose their footing and fall into the abyss. With their flocks, they have to search for pasture on the cliffs, often traveling for hours to reach the top or bottom of the cliffs. While herding, they have to be constantly on guard against wild animals and protect the safety of their flocks. Sometimes they have to risk their lives by climbing down the cliffs to look for sheep that have lost their footing and fallen.